Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. This video comes to you from a Western Kentucky field where classic John Deere farm machinery is harvesting wheat and putting in double crop soybeans. We'll see this John Deere 4650 tractor pull up to a John Deere 9600 Maximizer Combine equipped with an Agco Gleaner 6000 stripper head. We'll see that combine harvesting the wheat crop and then we'll see a John Deere 8650 four-wheel drive tractor no-tilling in that second crop of soybeans with a John Deere 1990 CCS drill. We'll take a look at some specifications of all these machines as well as see and hear them at work. Let's start out by taking a quick look at the specs on the 9600 Maximizer Combine. John Deere manufactured the 9600 Maximizer Combine from 1989 through 1997. This was the largest combine available from the company during this time period. It was powered by a John Deere 7.6 liter, 466 cubic inch engine rated at 253 horsepower. It has a 240 bushel grain tank that unloads at 2.2 bushels per second. The combine weighed in from the factory at 25,444 pounds. The original price tag of this machine was $127,961, and if a four-wheel drive rear axle was included, the price jumped an additional $13,046. This combine is harvesting wheat with an Agco Gleaner 6000 series stripper head that was offered in the late 1990s and early 2000s in sizes of 22 and 25 feet. This header simply strips the grain out of the head of wheat and leaves the rest of the stem standing as straw in the field, which helps those second crop soybeans that we'll see seeded in right behind the combine. But let's now head out to the field so you can see and hear this classic 9600 Maximizer in action. When the John Deere 9600 has completed harvesting the field, it has left all of the winter wheat standing. That Agco Gleaner 6000 head again simply strips the grain out of the head of the wheat and leaves the entire plant intact. This is really a good way to have a standing mulch that will hold moisture in the ground and shade the newly planted soybeans that are being no-tilled in by this John Deere 8650 four-wheel drive tractor and 1990 CCS drill. As the tractor and drill work their way across the field, let's take a quick look at their specifications. The 8650 was manufactured by John Deere from 1982 through 1989. This was the second largest tractor available from John Deere during this time period. It's powered by a John Deere 10.1 liter, 619 cubic inch engine rated at 235 PTO horsepower. The tractor weighs in at 26,425 pounds from the factory and could be field weighted up to over 30,000 pounds. This machine list price in the 1980s was $93,151. Interestingly, the 30-foot John Deere 1990 CCS drill that this tractor is pulling would have list price for around $170,000, almost nearly doubling the price tag of the tractor when it was new. The 1990 CCS drill was offered by the company from the early 2000s all the way through model year 2018. This drill is capable of holding 70 bushels of soybean seeds and it is able to no-till those seeds directly into the standing straw, put it in the soil without disturbing the surface of the field. We'll take a look at these machines working back and forth across the field and then see the results of the soybeans when they begin to emerge through the standing wheat straw.
here we can see the field after it was harvested by the stripper head all of the grain is gone and it's been planted into a second crop of soybeans and we can take a look at the results of that planting again when the stripper head came through it simply took all of the grain right off the plant you can see the head is still there it just doesn't have any seeds left in it the rest of the plant is left standing it's 93 degrees out today very hot out in this field but this standing straw helps shade the plants in between the rows you can see you're getting a nice emergence of beans down in there and it's also an advantage because this straw holds moisture in the ground it hasn't rained in about five days but it's actually pretty wet right down there I can feel dampness underneath the straw that's gonna help these beans thrive when it's going up close to 100 degrees which is very capable of happening here as we head towards August in Western Kentucky in Western Kentucky where this was filmed the wheat harvest takes place in June and the soybeans are drilled in directly behind the combine in mid-October those beans dry down and then it's time for the 9600 maximizer to return to the field and harvest the beans the combine is able to cut through the standing straw which is all but dissipated below the healthy bean crop and collect the beans and put them up in the bin I hope you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field seeing and hearing as well as learning about these classic pieces of John Deere equipment. If you would like to see more videos like this one, I hope that you'll consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. As always, thank you for watching.